Well, the Little Rock Zoo has opened its gates to members after closing in March. However, there are new safety guidelines you need to know about before making a reservation. Yeah. Things are definitely changing. You'll now need reservations to go to the zoo. THV 11's Vanessa Page explains. I like the, the zebras. Carrie Gaines and her girls are excited the Little Rock Zoo is now open to members. We're just excited to have uh, activities that we're used to and get to come out and kind of fill our days with some fun things. With signage reminding guests not to go bare when it comes to face masks, Gaines says it's a good reminder. Every time something new opens, we're ready to kind of go out and be safe doing it with our masks and hand sanitizer and everything. For the safety of guests, the zoo has taken several precautionary measures like requiring everyone to wear masks and installing sanitizing stations throughout the park. Some of the added safety guidelines are that you do have to reserve your tickets in advance and we've done that. Uh, to help to spread out the number of people that are allowed to come during the day to encourage social distancing. Reservations can be made on the zoo's website. There are also gates and chairs blocking off areas to keep the flow of guests moving in one direction. We have a one-way path that's in, in an effort to help encourage social distancing and also to help to guarantee that you get to see all the habitats along the way. Zoo staff are doing what they can to keep people six feet apart when they visit the animals. We do have some areas that are closed, some of the high touch points like our indoor areas like the reptile and birdhouse that will be closed unfortunately. The zoo will reopen to the general public on June 29th. In Little Rock, I'm Vanessa Page, THB 11 News. Following ADH guidelines, anyone over 10 years old will have to wear a mask. Staff will also be disinfecting railing and benches every two hours.